This outbuilding is where they say the Saratoga Swamp Monster originally came from. And the story goes that there was some type of science experiment going on in here by a government agency. Let's see if we could zoom in. I think the door is pretty blurry, but uh, that apparently is the door that's been replaced that the monster actually broke out of that door right there. It's hard to imagine with the sereneness of the sounds, the calls of the birds, and the light snow falling here, the beauty of nature, that on the other side of the road here is the Saratoga Swamp. And this is where it all happened. This tree here, downed on the side of the road on the edge of the swamp, shows a little of the devastation, the havoc that was wreaked when this all occurred. The slushy frozen ice on the edge of the swamp here, with these small frozen bits of protruding snow, kind of foretell the look into the edge of the swamp here. As we stand here, trying to envision what the passage, where the creature went, and where it came from. This is the sign, the Saratoga Swamp, the famous Tract 118 of the Maitland Valley Conservation Authority. This sign is actually not the original. It's been replaced after the event occurred. More downed trees and vegetation. And as you look back in here, you can see some further fallen trees. And at first look, you might not think they're any different than any other forest or swamp with a few fallen trees here and there, but if you look carefully, you can almost make out here the path that the Saratoga Swamp Monster took when it first came out, and ironically enough, when it retreated back in, it almost retraced its footsteps exactly back there. The tree beside the sign tells part of the story. As you can see here, there's two limbs cut off of this tree, and there's a reason for that. You can't see much now, they're covered in snow, and because they were cut is part of the reason you can't see much. But they were damaged during the incident. And they told some of the story that the county and the Maitland Valley Conservation Authority did not want you to know and hence did not leave the evidence behind. Here's the hollow. The first original sightings were in here where the monster first appeared. Apparently it would like to lie here during the daylight hours and watch from the roadside. As cars went by and sometimes buggies, people walking, horses. And it's actually very close to where the creature first came out of the swamp on that fateful day. If you see here and we pan back out, it's not that far away from the sign, which is right over there at the side of the road. And here, amidst the frozen swamp water, is the cove right there where the creature would lie. Standing here with the snow falling down, there's nothing really to see, although you can imagine as we look into the depths of the swamp here where the creature might be or might have made his lair 
back in the Saratoga Swamp here off the side of the Blythe Road. No one really knows where it came from or what precipitated the events that happened that day. All we do know is the attacks were brutal and nothing like that has ever been seen before here at the Saratoga Swamp or ever again for that matter. The story goes that the creature, what has now become known as the Saratoga Swamp Monster, made its way out of the swamp right by the sign there, in behind, and up onto the road. And it crossed over the road here and over into this area where it's open farmland. And if we zoom in, you could see the pools and pond area now from the waterfall we've had where all the geese and other waterfowl are congregating there. And that apparently is where the attacks happened. Approximately right on the banks of, of where that snow-crested bank is there where all that waterfowl is. The creature apparently saw the child there and after coming out of the woods and crossing the road made its way over to that area and that's where the attack happened. Now no one knows if the creature was attracted by noises or something the child was doing, but all we do know is that it happened and it was horrific. And then the creature retreated back across here and across the Blythe Road and into the Saratoga Swamp. Now police, local law enforcement, even the OPP, the Ontario Provincial Police, were called out and they did extensive searches into this swamp. Nothing was really found to this day. They've looked again and again and the family of the child has been in here looking. The swamp monster has not been seen since and there have been no sightings. We don't know if it's moved on to another area or if it actually has been in this swamp so long that it knows and is able to keep itself hidden from view, hidden from all the search parties that have been through here, and is still residing here in the Saratoga Swamp. What we do know is that the attack did happen. The monster went back into this swamp area and has never been seen again.